you grab and keep the reader's interest? Well, you grab it by entering their world, I would say, right at the beginning. You, you, you enter their world because you know who they are, hopefully. If you don't know who they are, you better find out quick. And then you go into their world and you think about their needs, their interests, and you hook them that way. And you hook them by, obviously, headline and such like. But let's get beyond the headline. Um, the first paragraph, you want to make your sentences short. They've got to be absolutely pointed towards the, the needs and interests of that reader. Um, and you want to make the, the early paragraph short as well. We're not talking about news, um, new, news items here. We're talking about features, let's say, or, or opinion pieces. So if you keep your paragraphs punchy and your sentences punchy, by the way, a sentence is a thought and a paragraph is a theme, if that helps you. So you don't want to go mixing themes in one paragraph or jumbling up multiple thoughts in one sentence. That's a bit of an aside, but um, if you can surprise the readers, intrigue them, um, hold out some kind of promise that this article is really going to be worthwhile, they'll hang in there. Now, it depends then on the length of, of the piece. If it's a short piece, then you probably won't have much problem sustaining their interest. But if it's a long piece, like a feature of two or 3,000 words, let's say, you have got to drop nuggets in all the way through that piece. And the way we, we, we write, we tend to write as a pyramid. I don't know if, I've, uh, if you're familiar with this, the, um, the pyramid way of writing. But you, you, you know, your essential point, you build it out with evidence, you answer the questions that you expect the reader is going to need answers to and then you move on to another one so don't don't fire all your bullets out the out the gun right at the beginning um, save them and I said nuggets before now I'm saying bullets but it's the same thing um, save, save some so that you, you sprinkle them all the way through the article and then wrap up nicely at the end and, and, and gather your thoughts together that's what I would say